In many active and former conflict zones worldwide, even after the fighting has stopped, the war is not yet over. Cluster bombs are weapons that contain hundreds, sometimes thousands, of bomblets. They are fired by rockets or dropped by aircraft. They then scatter across wide areas. They can remain hidden for decades, buried underground. Like landmines, they explode when touched. Death and injuries are common. Their effect on military and particularly civilians is widespread. This weekend, the UN Convention on Cluster Munitions enters into force. This will prohibit all use, stockpiling, production and transfer of cluster bombs. The convention will also aim to provide care and rehabilitation to survivors, as well as help with the clearance of contaminated areas. In an interview with UN Radio, Thomas Nash from the Cluster Munitions Coalition said that the convention's launch was a landmark moment. People said, you're crazy, you're never going to ban uh, cluster bombs. And uh, seven years later, we are here about to celebrate the entry into force of uh, the Convention on Cluster Munitions. It's going to stop people from being injured in the future, and it's going to increase and accelerate the support uh, that people already injured uh, are getting.